They're women who have breast implants that have a variety of symptoms. Anything from fatigue, memory issues, trouble sleeping, joint pain, back pain, hair issues, weight gain, weight loss that they attribute to their implants. And this has been referred to as breast implant illness. There is not a blood test to make this diagnosis. There aren't x-rays, there's not a physical examination. So it can be a very frustrating experience for the patient. A lot of times where they get their information that makes them start thinking about it's from their implants is from the internet. And I think as physicians, we've let these patients down by not having looked into this and done more research on it. As board certified plastic surgeons, our, our number one thing is to get a very clear history here. You know, get some information, see what laboratory tests have been done, learn how many years they've had that implant in, whether there are any other problems. And then really it's a decision for the patient whether or not they still want their implant. The patients have to understand too there are limits that their insurance company will cover and they have to be anticipating some out-of-pocket costs. Most insurance companies, if it was implant placed, for cosmetic reasons, not breast cancer, it's going to be a self-pay. There have been studies that have shown that patients that have normal laboratory exams and believe that their symptoms will get better with implant removal, 80% of those patients will have symptom improvement after removal of the implant.